So the next stop is Darlington, so reverse it to forward, we need to break our power to notch 3. So the bad thing Durham, the speed limit is 75 miles an hour, and we have about 22 miles to Darlington. So this is part 4 of 11. So part 4 is from Durham to Darlington. So it should be shorter than the other parts. So about this part should be about 15 minutes long. So yesterday's live stream, I, I enjoyed it until the end. So we raised $75, which is about 61, 60, 61 pound 57. So that's a lot of money. So thank you to everyone who donated. Thank you to everyone who turned up. Yeah, I don't know if I'll do. I don't know. If, I don't know if I'll ever do another one. So I feel it's now eighty miles an hour. So between Durham and Darlington, there are no stations. So the next stop will be our last stop this part. Then, then, then the next one will from the next one will be from Durham to du Durham to York. Speed limit now going up to one hundred. Shortly going down to ninety. So accelerate up to one hundred miles an hour. So after this series is done, I'm planning on doing some more things on the West Coast Main Line. Or maybe some other route that comes out. Yeah, I'm really hoping AP will release the 375 377 enhancement pack soon. Because I'm really looking forward to it. Also, my sub count is now 307, which is amazing. So I start braking for 90 miles an hour. So the next point of interest will be Ferry Hill Sidings. I don't know how much is left. I don't know how much is left of Ferry Hill Sidings. Since the original Newcastle to York route. Well probably not a lot because of the beaching axe. I was hoping to do like a full run from uh, Preston to Glasgow, that would be really cool to do. In a Penlino. So speed limit is now 100 miles an hour. And it's shortly going up to 120, so we should be going we should be going near maximum speed. Where's, my, where's the maximum speed of a zoomer? Is it 140? You know they're limited to 125. Yeah, if you go back to the original Newcastle to York route, this one looks completely different to it. Probably because of all the catenary and the new assets and the new track. So you probably won't recognise it as Newcastle to York, pretty much. Just what, but with new textures and assets. So the speed of it is now 120. And we have a warning for 110. I wonder if Dovetail will ever update the 801 with the dual mode stuff. Probably not because they don't update stuff. Because what Dovetail does is they release something and then they just let it sit there for ages and never touch it again. So we should be approaching Ferry Hill. Yeah, I don't know what's in Fairy Hill, so I just have to empty. So 
So it should be a very smooth run to Darlington. Don't know what's going to happen after York because I haven't made a scenario yet. Even though at this point it's too late to make a scenario on the day the train ran because real time train only goes back a week and it's been like two weeks. So I'll have to build the scenario using the old timetable from a few weeks ago and the today's timetable as well. So it's going to be a mix up between the timetable from two weeks ago and the timetable from now. This is Ferry Hill. Yeah, so it's small. So speed limit is going down to 110, then back up to 115. Then the Zuma from York to Newcastle. Yeah, that livery isn't entirely correct. I mean, the ends are, but the middle coaches aren't. The middle coaches aren't just all white, they have a bit of blue and purple on them. So we have 12 miles to Darlington. So at Darlington we're going to come off the up main and into the station and then when we will leave Darlington in the next part we will be joining the up main towards North Allerton. Speed limit is now 115 miles an hour. Doing to Darlington at 8 o'clock and leave at 8.02 into platform number one. So we are currently two minutes early. Cool. Even though the actual train left at 8 or 1 and 3 quarters. Let's do a flyby. Six from Dallas to Heaton. Imagine being, imagine being in a pacer down the East Coast Main Line. It must be awful. I don't know if it would just fall apart after about five minutes of running on maximum speed. Coming up to one one five. So I think the busiest part of this kind of journey will be between Peterborough and York, Peterborough and King's Cross, but that's where all the trains are. Because stuff north of Peterborough isn't really running. Like whole trains isn't running, Grand Central isn't running. So you want to go to L and R, so it's really quiet. So it's seven miles. So yeah, this should be like a very peaceful run into King's Cross. Because I think I just read on the... Someone on... I think it's a member of the government on one of the YouTube videos from the news. Says that we might have to live with coronavirus for a few years, which sucks. I wonder how I'm, I wonder how I'm going to do third year. To learn AI. During an online class. Oh crap, one day five. I think the brakes on these are decent. Day five. Ninety. E five. So five miles left. 
So go around a few bends and then straight on and then slow down for Darlington. So speed limit is now 95 miles an hour. Acceleration in this is like a rocket. As the speed limit is going up to 125, we'll, still, we, we, we'll, we'll probably be at 125 for a few seconds but having to, before having to slow down for Darlington. So we can accelerate to 125. So livery is pretty basic, as I said earlier. Because you have a white and some red. Yeah, I like the old versions from Silk Library better. Accelerating up to 125. Double flashing yellow, which means we're coming off the East Coast Main Line into Darlington Station. So start braking. Uh, maybe a bit harder. Put up to like 60. 70. So in real life, I have been to Darlington once before continuing onward to Northallerton. Yeah, I remember seeing some Grand Central, Grand Central HSTs in Northallerton. Sad that I don't run anymore. I think the only place I see a HST is either the new management train, whoever it is, or cross country between York and Edinburgh. It's bringing our speed down to 40. So going to Darlington, um, it means you stop at the end of the platform. So this is, this is Darlington, where the line towards the left goes towards Eagle Cliff and Middlesbrough. And the line drawing from the left is from Bishop Parkland. So this is the end of part five. So thank you for watching. Follow me on Twitter for future video updates. And next we'll go to York.